have a whole host of numbers to reckon with next week within the mid-cap IT space. So this has probably set the tone a little bit. But uh, Scient is uh, also in focus. It posted what was a disappointing set of Q2 numbers. We did speak to the management. Let's listen in to what they had to say. On the design and manufacturing, the board has appointed a subcommittee. I just want to say we've not taken a decision on fully selling it off. We believe that uh, science should still have some involvement because we're winning some very good deals based on the fact that we can do engineering and uh, design. So we're actually winning some very good deals. So we don't want to break our involvement with the uh, with the business. Uh, so we're looking at you know potentially an IPO or bringing in a <clears throat> excuse me uh, bringing in a strategic partner to participate in that uh, business. So um, we've uh, the subcommittee has been appointed i think it was two weeks ago when we made that uh, announcement but uh, we will uh, uh, start to see some action on it i think uh, we, we meet twice a week now and uh, we're um, evaluating all the options as, as soon as there's a definitive option we'll let uh, we'll let our shareholders know right now the idea is we still want some involvement but the shareholding of that business doesn't lead or doesn't lend very well to where the growth potential of that business is no, no, definitely not a complete spin-off. I want to reiterate that because it's a very good part. And like you also pointed out, the Honeywell deal is a great deal for us to uh, uh, use as a case study. So no, we, we will not do that. We will still hold some ownership of it. Okay, that's the word.